Hi students, welcome back to my class. Today I'm sharing classify objects that absorb water and cannot absorb water. Okay, this is an example activity you may carry out at home. It's a simple activity. Okay, the first thing is you have to collect the things around you that is which is made of plastic, made of uh, rubber, made of wood, made of metal glass and so on just collect okay and keep it on one table on table okay then after that is you fill up a basin with the water okay you have to check in the object and then soak inside the water after a few seconds you take out and squeeze the material the object you try to do it and see what is you may observe okay so let's see you observe that the object is can flow there is a water flow from the object it means that the object is a water absorbent let's say there is a no any water flow from the object is meaning is a non-water absorbent that's all it's a very simple classification how you can define the object is an um, water absorbent or non-water absorbent very simple repeat again the same methods for the other objects also for the other materials so let's say i'm take a cold cloth okay i soak the cloth inside the water after a few seconds i check out the cloth i squeeze the cloth and i can observe is it the water flow from the cloth the droplets the water droplets from the cloth yes and the cloth also getting wet and heavier than the previous so this means the cloth is water absorbent object that's all very simple that's all this is the way how you can group the objects into water absorbent and non-water absorbent okay next we have to see that why the reason okay maybe you have to know that more to what is the reason the object can absorb water yes this is a very important for you all huh? okay water soaks into many materials these materials absorb water they are called porous okay porous materials are materials having small holes that allow air or liquid to pass through yes for example the cloth cotton and everything so on the objects can absorb water are known as a porous materials because all the objects having small holes that allow air or liquid to pass through but don't think that you can see with your rough eyes cannot you can't see the holes with your rough eyes i'm so sorry that okay because the porous we just know is that the porous materials which can absorb the water that's all okay the next one is okay you may ask okay why some of the objects can absorb water and some of the objects cannot absorb water yes that's true okay there are a lot of materials that water will not soak into these materials repel water that means push out the water is going to be allowed the water pass through the object it will be push out the water this non-porous materials like plastic and rubber does not allow water to pass through not only rubber or plastic the materials are made of metal the materials are made of glass or is not allowed the water to pass through so these have been known as the non-porous materials or non-water absorber so as a conclusion from here we have to know that porous materials are materials having small holes that allows hair or liquid to pass through example cotton and sponge yes they have the small holes you also can see that in the reality the cotton and the sponge have the small holes which they allow the water to pass through and the second number two is non-porous materials are materials that does not allow liquid and air to pass to it example plastic and rubber okay okay students that's all from me now i hope that you all can understand how to classify the objects to into water has open and non water has open there are only two main groups okay there are no any other groups there are only two groups that is the water absorbent objects and non water absorbent objects this is a 
our today class. That's all from me now. Bye-bye.